hello to my channel if you guys aren't new my name is christina i just came outside and i was just cleaning up a little bit because for the past couple of days every time i see like my backyard getting dirty because of the kids and their toys i usually don't like to clean it up and then since the weather's getting a lot better and warmer today is very beautiful it's sunny my husband said that when he gets back we're gonna do some yard work and try to get like the grass cut so that the yard actually looks a little bit decent looking but this vlog might be a little bit different than my usual vlogs so i just wanted to let you guys know and so far when i was looking at my skin disclaimer i noticed that i have a lot of pigmentation going on and a lot of dark spots you may not see through my skin i mean right now it looks wonderful but if you were to actually get in my skin like actually look you could see like these little dark spots and that's because i haven't had money to buy me spf but now that i do i wear it and um i just have to be consistent but anyways with my backyard is very beautiful as y'all can see the trees right here I wanted to speak to you guys about how authentic I would like to be and you know just be human at once because a lot of times we go on social media we're thinking that people are happy or they have their life together or their house together or whatever whatever is going on they think everything is all good and I'm here to tell you that that's a lie because everybody's life is not put together all the time and you're not gonna get the best life ever. We all go through it. Even followers of My Christ pool. is literally in reconstruction. Like it needs to get done, it needs to be remodeled, it needs to get overlooked. Like it has a lot of things that needs to be done. And my husband, he's been telling us that he wants to wait, he wants to wait, it's a lot of money. And at this point, as me, you know, being a full-time parent and my husband being the breadwinner, it's hard because I have all these ideas that I want to do in my home and the pool and my little garage that we have in our backyard, but everything is it's going to cost money. And right now with what's going on with the economy, it's hard for us to pick back where we left off. So I've been having this idea of wanting to fix my pool. And sitting here on my swing, we have like this little play set for the kids. And my backyard is pretty big. It just needs a lot of work. So that's what I wanted to talk about this topic is because I wanted to show you guys my actual backyard and how it looks. To me, I'm not gonna lie, I did hurt my house feelings because I haven't put love into it. and. That's something that my husband and I always talked about and he's always reminding me that we may not have the best looking house, but our house is home, our house is loved, and one day we will be able to pick it up from where we where it was and we'll be able to fix it. So with that being said, a lot of times I don't have a lot of people coming over. I would like to have birthday parties, but the only issue that we have is my pool. And for those of you, you guys may think, oh, she has a pool, like that's cool, no. And I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm begging because I'm not. I just wanna show you guys how it looks because one day when God blesses us, we'll be able to fix the things that we need. <laughs> it would be nice, you know, to win the lottery and fix my whole house. That would be such a blessing from God. But if that's not his plan, then I'm okay. I will start from you know the beginning start off slow but i want to share with you guys like how my pool looks and everything so you guys get a better picture that i don't have a perfect life and i know that nowadays these influencers they have their life put together and things like that but they don't always tell you the truth and they don't tell you like the things that they had to go through the years that they have to like work hard just to get to where they're at today so let's get into it <clears throat> my husband had put these little little wooden things just in case because whenever my daughter practice or my kids they want to practice they use that goal and usually the ball goes out and it always goes in the pool 
now this is how my pool looks if you guys can see this is what it is my husband and i we cleaned it out but as y'all can see sometimes a ball or my kids toys they like to just dump it in there but pretty soon when they get out of school they'll be able to pick all that up we leave a chair right there just so that they're able to like get back up because this pool is about 10 feet on this side is about 10 feet over there is like maybe one three feet if i'm not mistaken so this is what it looks like and it's a very big pool like in video you won't see it as bad but in person is bigger than than the actual with that video. being said i've been wanting to do a lot of stuff with my house and get it the way that i want it to look like that i feel comfortable we might not have the flattest yard but as long as we get this pool fixed it makes a difference it, it's like a big upgrade this is half of my yard we were starting to garden on this side of the corner i'll probably show you guys when i go over there soon so this is like half of my backyard this is their swing set play set this broke because when it was cold a tree fell so that kind of like broke the net and there's like a little hole in my trampoline so we're still trying to decide if we're gonna keep it or get a new one and then of course we have this little bench my husband's been saying that he wants to get rid of it and i told him that if he does get rid of it i do want to do some type of idea with it but without the swing set and then with this playground i want to move it at least all the way to the corner where my dog's at because <laughs> he has his little house over there and he's been making a mess but this playground i want to move it over there to that corner that way it has more shade and the sun is not directly hitting the kids when they're wanting to play you have here my garage where also it needs a lot of work done and then out there is where you get out of my backyard and then we're gonna go to my back porch where i just cleaned a little bit it still needs a lot of cleaning but we're gonna get to there to that point we just have been trying to clean up. So that part over there, like what I was trying to show you earlier, we have like sembrar, like sembrar means like to garden. We have garden like vegetables and things, but you know, of course in Georgia, you know, they die out when it gets cold. So we have to redo that. And then this is just my back porch of how it looks. My husband took out all the screen. So that's why we have all that situation going on. After that, like I just come and sit down like this. Porch. I really want to do something. You can see my kitchen in the back, but I really do want to invest and I want to fix our home because right now homes are very expensive and it's hard for people our age or I don't know what uh, what is the millennial. I think I am a millennial and my husband too. So it's hard for us to purchase a home because everything is so expensive now. And... At times, I used to tell my husband, I want a new home. I want a beautiful flat yard, maybe a pool. I want a like a bigger home because I do have a big family and I want each of my kids to have their own room. But sometimes I have to be more realistic than just dreaming in the clouds. Be appreciative of what I have right now. And I am blessed to have my home. I am blessed to share it with my husband. I am blessed that my children will have their years and memories in this home. And this is why I want to grow that dream to reality here in our home. So for all my, you know, my followers, my girls, just don't feel discouraged. Don't feel like where you're at is where you're going to stay. That's just temporarily. We don't. We're not going to last long here because sooner or later God's going to come. And when Jesus comes and we get to be with him, I know he's going to have a whole bunch of mansions for every one of us. <laughs> and I know it's going to be cool and fun and all, all the nice things that we don't have to worry about. But I just want to show you guys just the start of something new for me and the start of a plan that I have. I don't necessarily like to sh tell you guys too much of the plan because of course, like if you tell everybody what you're gonna do, then 
you killed the blessing that God had for you. Like you basically told everything and then that's not what happened. Then you have to put, then you have to wait another couple years because you told your blessing. So I'm just sharing with my home and some bits and pieces of what I have. You can understand that you're not alone and it's okay to not have your house in order. It's okay to not have everything ready and done because trust me, I've have had people say, oh, if I had your house, I would have been, you know, I would be happy. I would have had this done, this done, this done. And it's crazy because, you know, a lot of people will say, they that. will say everything about they would do this and that, but would they truly do it? No, because it takes time. It takes years. And my kids are still young. They don't know how to swim, but I know that once I get this pool fixed, I do want someone to come out and teach them or me myself because i learned the hard way of how i've been taught and i don't even want to tell you how i was taught because you guys would be like oh, trauma but the point is, is it's going to get better i know god has a plan for my home and he's going to bless us i just sometimes just have to like close my mouth and not say too much and then just hope for the best because i do i am the type of parent that i love to get together i love to make parties even though my husband he's not a party person he doesn't like to clean up i know eventually i'll probably get tired of it but i have a big family and in my heart i'm known to be the the mom that likes the big family that gets together that does the cooking because one thing about me is i love to do content i like makeup i i, I like to do fashion and things like that but my main love is cooking and it's one thing that i've been taught since a little girl and i've always had that gift of cooking and using my hands so if that's one thing i want to be able to teach not just only my daughters but my sons too so that they can also learn and be independent and they don't have to depend on anybody or have to go out and buy stuff and they can learn to be wise use their money wisely because <sighs> sometimes i'm not gonna lie like i don't always use my money wisely and sometimes I do forget because it's in the moment but then once you have it it's almost like you don't care about it no more and I don't want to have that feeling I don't like that feeling so what I'm trying to say is, is don't just don't feel like you're never going to make it and you're not going to be able to fix the things you can fix in your home your home is your home and there's going to be better opportunity and better blessings. You just have to wait on God and let him do all the work. And this is why one thing that I learned is God always teaches me Proverbs. I don't know what number. I'm just going to say that he tells us all the time to lean on him and not on our understanding. This verse always gets me every time because it teaches me to know that I cannot do everything on my own. And if I try to figure it out on my own, I'm just going to lose because I'm always going to be pulling blocks every time. But with God, everything is possible. We just have to have faith and believe and trust in him because I guarantee you that once things start happening and you least expect it, you're going to see a big transformation. So, with that being said, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know it's hard for someone to actually see someone's authentic self and usually there's a bunch of small creators either on TikTok, Instagram that you can find that are genuinely themselves and they actually show you where they first started and where they came from from the bottom and up and I've been in that situation been through those things and we're still going through it but I am still blessed that I am where I'm at we have our own home it's our home and that's the best part because when you have to pay a mortgage it becomes more expensive but when you get to own a home it makes you feel good because it's yours and you don't have to worry about paying anything else because you bought it and it belongs to you and you get to do whatever you want whether you want to invest it rent it out the type of mentality that i like to have in my head and i would love to teach my kids so that they can be their own so this is just the beginning of a process that's how i'm going to call it the beginning of the process of the sanchez family 
and one day I will be able to have my party. Maybe one day I'll be able to have something that I've always wanted here and I will get to enjoy it with the people that I love, that care for me, and that's been there through thick and thin. And yeah, and you just gotta just keep on holding faith. Sometimes I know I get discouraged and I'm always like, God, like I'm waiting and I don't get, I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing because we expect for it to be in our faces right now. But sometimes we have to go through storms for us to see sunshine. So I just wanted to let you guys know because I don't want to get teary and cry. But this is just the beginning of the process, like I said. And I know one day my kids are going to be happy. And I'm going to be very, very happy when my husband and I, we fix everything. And it just becomes beautiful. And our home becomes how our home dream house is supposed to look like. Because, like I said, I do want to enjoy and have my little parties for my kids here. And whenever we don't want to go on vacation, we have our pool that we can just go into and enjoy ourselves. One thing about me is I've always wanted a pool since I was a little girl. I always dreamed of it, always. And my parents, they always had like second guess about moving to Florida because that was the next option that my parents had when we moved to, to Georgia. And they never could make that move because they just said that it was too expensive. But I think if you just really take that mindset out and actually give it a try and change instead of being comfortable in the same position that you're in, I believe that you can overcome it. But some people just don't like Florida and that's fine. I've always loved Florida and I know my, my daughters, they do. And I know my sons do too, but I also love Georgia too. But if I could fix my pool here, why not? I did my research and I found out that during the cold season, they charge pretty less for someone to come out and to give me a quote. And they usually charge range between about five, 6,000, depending on how big or small your pool is. And with my case of my pool, it probably will range from 10 to 20,000, depending on how we want our pool to look. Because nowadays, you know, some people, they just, you know, pay what they can afford and then they fix it. But my husband has ideas of what we want and what we want to spend. So in order for us to want a certain type of pool, we have to spend a little more. It's gonna cost around 25 or maybe $20,000 for this pool to be fixed because my husband actually wants to keep the same height, but maybe change here and there. Me, honestly, 10 feet, I think is ridiculous, but that's because we have that diving board. But I know the kids will grow and they'll be able to like go to the deep end. But for now, I want to be a safe parent and have like the right things so that they don't go in there, no accidents. And that's the reason why I might get like an instructor to come and pay them so that my kids can learn how to swim. But yeah, I just wanted to leave it off there. This may be a short vlog video, but I wanted to share with you guys my home, my backyard and just the midst of how everything is. And hopefully you guys get to enjoy this type of content. If you can relate to me, if you know how you feel and, and you've been through the same situation as me or you're going through the same situation as me, just know that we're in this together and we're going to pull through no matter what the enemy says. So for now, just enjoy the nature. Try to get off your phone spend that quality time with your children your loved ones and do the most amazing things i know for one i am so obsessed with like picnics and stuff and i really want to do those things i've been been saying this since last year and it never has happened but who knows maybe it just might happen this year who knows so I just want to leave it off there. I hope you guys got to enjoy my little mini vlog for today. And yeah, stay tuned for the beginning of a change. Beginning of a process. So I'll leave it off here. Los quiero, los amo. Besitos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.